Welcome to another JPS via iOS user tutorial. In this first episode of six, we'll discuss installing and activating VIA on your iOS device. But first off, congratulations, you've been selected as a VIA user. So before you install and activate your VIA application on your iPhone or iPad, let's briefly talk about VIA. VIA is an iOS application that allows your iPhone or iPad to securely communicate with LAN mobile radios within your organization or agency without the need to carry LAN mobile radio or even operate within the radio's coverage area. VIA also has secure messaging capabilities and uses several talk group types that allow agencies to optimize group communications. VIA also has location-based services such as mapping as well as the ability to gather historical positional data. One of the advantages of VIA is it works over cellular networks regardless of the carrier and will even work over Wi-Fi networks. You'll be able to communicate with individuals on one-to-one -one private calls or with groups of individuals or even predetermined groups. There's also an optional location-based mapping function that provides yourself and others valuable situational awareness that could be important in many circumstances during day-to-day -day activities or during emergencies or critical operations. So after you install and activate your JPS VIA application, follow the remaining episodes in the JPS VIA iOS user tutorial series to learn more on the operation and setup of VIA on your iOS device. So let's get started with the installation and activation of JPS VIA. And if at any time you have any issues with your installation or activation, you can always contact us at JPS VIA support. You should have already received either a text message or an email from JPS Interoperability Solutions inviting you to activate your new VIA account. This was initiated by your organization's administrator or supervisor. Click on the link in the email or text message to be redirected to the JPS VIA setup website. On the JPS VIA setup website, you should see your username and your password. It might be a good idea to save this information for later use. Next, click on Download JPS VIA to open the App Store on your device. From within the App Store, click on Install. It should take a few minutes or so to complete the installation of the app. Once the app is installed, click on Open, or you can launch the VIA app directly from the iOS home screen. You will then be prompted to enter your username and password that was provided to you from the JPS VIA setup website. In some cases, you may see a notification when you initially launch the VIA app. Make certain that your background app refresh is allowed for the JPS VIA application. You can verify this from within your iPhone or iPad's settings menu. Tap Settings, General, Background App Refresh, then verify that JPS VIA Background App Refresh is enabled. The VIA app should automatically open from the iPhone with the VIA Contacts list visible, or in the case of the iPad, the VIA Contacts list as well as the VIA Map View should be visible simultaneously. That's it, your VIA app is now ready, and incidentally, if you happen to close the app, you'll be able to launch the app from the home screen without re-entering your username or password. However, if you log out of the application, you'll be asked to re-enter your password. If you forget your password, contact your VIA administrator or call the VIA support number. Additionally, when the VIA app is closed without logging out, you will still be able to receive audible PTT calls, alert calls, as well as messaging. The VIA app need not be open to receive VIA calls, but you do need to be logged in. Now that you're ready to start using your VIA app, don't forget to watch other episodes on the JPS VIA iOS user tutorial series to learn more on the operation and setup of your iOS device. This completes another JPS VIA iOS user tutorial episode. If you would like to learn more about the JPS VIA push to talk over cellular application, please give us a call or visit us at jpsinterop.com.